right, so let's get ready to roll. We're going to go ahead and push our <clears throat> our branch to GitHub, and we're going to um, do a production, a merge to master, and then a production push. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and um, take a look real quick at GitHub. Let's just verify that we're good out there. We'll take a look at our branches, make sure that they look good. And we have a 102, so we're going to be pushing our 101, 102.1 branch out. Let's do a git status. Everything looks great. Let's go ahead and do a git push origin. And then, of course, our branch which is 102-1, hit enter, put our name in, put our password, and it's stuffing everything up there, it looks good, looks like we should have had a good push, let's go uh, validate it, just review it, Probably need to do a little refresh. And we can see that it's gone up. And if we look in here, we can see we're on currently on master. And if we go to 1021, what we should see in there is our assets, CSS, we see our style. And we know that that style is not in our master yet. So if we switch to master, that's one good way to validate. Awesome. So. At this point, um, we took a look at our, our push. Let's go ahead, make sure our GitHub page, just check it out. If we remember, our GitHub page is looking to our master branch, and we can see that our changes have not gone up there yet. So um, that's just a good validation for as far as merging and pushing out there to see what's going on. So let's go ahead. Uh, we'll go back in, and let's uh, get check out master and now we're on our master branch so now we're going to go ahead and do our merge get and we can look at localhost as well too if we go and we look before we do our merge let's just double check everything and we can see where where we left off when we were working on things so at this point we're going to go ahead and finish uh, doing our merge And we're going for 102-1. And let's go ahead and do our merge. No conflicts, all good. We brought in our merge. We 247 changes, good word. All right, uh, let's go out the local host. And we can see that our merge successfully came in. At this point, um, we merged into master. Let's go over to Dreamweaver. And we can see that we have master checked out there. And we're going to go ahead and open our readme file. We're going to update our, our manifest, we'll say. Uh, we kind of skipped this with the first one. So let's, let's do it for both branches that we've done in here. So we'll start out with uh, 102-0 and uh, completed menu builder function in app.js whoops let's put in here completed nav through menu builder function with recursion that'll be good enough and then let's go ahead and let's add in for our 102-1 just so that we have a clue what's going on in there and we'll just put completed CSS for navigation and that'll be acceptable enough at this point so we'll go ahead and we'll save that We'll close it. 
Uh, now we'll go ahead and run a git status. We're on master right now. We should see that the readme changed, which it has. And uh, we'll go ahead and add those changes. And then we'll have, um, I always search for my, I like to be consistent as I explained before. Um, so basically we'll go ahead and we'll put 1021 branch merge to master and getting ready to push production. We'll go ahead and commit those changes. And now that those changes are committed, let's go ahead and push our master up to GitHub. Username, password. <coughs> and it's packaging everything up, pushed it up. So let's go have a, a look. And what we should see is that master was updated. And here we can see, we can validate that several ways. First way, we'll just go in and we'll see that our style CSS is in there. And we also know that the GitHub pages is pointing to the master branch. So if we refresh that, we should end up with, and we have ended up with our menu at the top. Awesome. Additionally, while we're out here, we can validate one more time our local host. And that looks good. So since that looks good, our next step is that we can go ahead and push out to production. And by the way, I was paying attention, no errors down here. So to do our production update, we'll go into Adobe. And see that flipped over we're on master go over to our file system to a remote view just take a look make sure everything's looking good out there no hidden crazy files or anything and that looks great so we'll come back locally we'll highlight the root we'll say synchronize our site delete remote files not on there we'll preview it And it's telling us that it wants us to go ahead and uh, put all four of these files up. So we'll go ahead. We'll do our push. And that is our production release. So let's go and clear to empty the cache. See if we get any errors. No errors. We're clean. Menu's working, coming in as expected. And we are good. That is our production release. So 102 uh, is, lesson 102 is now complete and we are good to move on to 103. See you then.